all right so i saw somebody use this type of team in pvp and i wanted to try it out it is a double revive meliodas team okay this is gonna be a little bit crazy because we all know man liz somehow resurrected back into meta because her shield is super broken all right it's way better than what you think of like chad king's shield because it stops crits which pretty much hard counters the Eskinors and meliodas in pvp which could be pretty solid especially because she does got that revive that can protect you as well and then we have Malaskla, who has that undead revive as well, which could be pretty toxic, depending on if any of the players do know how this team works. Because if you don't know, we kind of have double revives, so sometimes you can undead Liz, sometimes you can undead, sometimes you can revive Malaskla. It makes it's a, it's a very hard uh, team to get rid of. All right, that's why it makes this team super super annoying. So we using Meliodas. You already know this guy is like the number one PvP unit. Um, but if you want to know what character is the best overall, it's going to be Eskinar. But this character is broken in PvP. Everywhere you see him, he's there. Meliodas, he's in your dreams. He's in your nightmares. He's under your bed. He is everywhere. So we're going to be using this team in PvP. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. And uh, let's see if I can catch some Ws. All right. So you already know what we're about to do today. All right. If you're an OG on my channel, you know me. When there's content dry... And there's nothing for me to do sometimes i like to do these type of videos where pretty much i just like to talk about life a random story or you know something that i've seen on probably the internet that i wanted to discuss with you this is how my pretty much my thoughts on everything now i always like to start up with this by saying yo pretty much i'm gonna be speaking the slang so i like to apologize because i do speak in like a bonic sometimes i mean i could talk all proper and all that good stuff but what's the fun in that right so I just want to have like that random thought or random story that I recently had. Like if you don't know, sometimes with me, I always like keep it real with my friends. I always like to like to know like how they feeling, like how good they are and stuff like that. And kind of like I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm I be a little bit nosy. All right, I be a little bit nosy because I'm a very open person, so I pretty much like to like figure out like what is going on with some of my friends' life and stuff like that and how they feeling. And it, it'd be sometimes crazy. Um, so pretty much, I have to say, like, one of these days, like, I think it was, like, after Valentine's Day, like, I was talking to my friend. And I was like, yo, I was like, so what do you and your, your guy friend did and stuff like that, you know, pretty much. And she was just pretty much telling me, like, cause it was just, like, one of those random moments where I was just talking to her uh, or called her. And she was just like, yo, what, what guy friend? I'm like... That one guy, you know, that I seen like a couple months ago that you be with and stuff like that. She was like, oh, we've been broke up and all that good stuff. So it led to me to saying like, yo, I was like, dang, why y'all break up on all that good stuff? You know, just me just trying to be a little bit nosy. You feel me? And uh, she was like, you like, it just didn't work out and stuff like that. And I ain't gonna lie, man. Some sometimes I just like to ask the most craziest questions just to see how far how far i can get to know my friends so i'm like dang like another guy that you ain't ain't with and stuff like that i was like what do you think is it you or is it him like what you what do you think it is and she was like yo nah nah it, it wasn't me you know i try to give his love and all that stuff i was like love do you even know what love is like what do you think love is and it went to this deep conversation where we talk about love and she was just pretty much saying like how she doesn't really know like what love is and pretty much she she was just explaining like how she thought like love like she thinks like what like she didn't know what love is but she explained to me like how you should like it ended up being where she's talking about how you should like pretty much love yourself and the only way you can pretty much love others is you pretty much got to start with by loving yourself pretty much like loving everything you do because how because pretty much it's pretty much hard to love somebody else when you yourself have trouble on knowing how to love yourself you get what i'm saying like how, how can you love somebody without even loving yourself pretty much and it made me think to myself like yo because i had asked her like so do you love yourself and stuff like that and she was like yeah yeah i love myself now i'm not gonna lie this was sounding too good to be true it was sounding too good so we had a deep we had we got to dig a little bit deeper so i'm asking i'm like mm, i like so you think nobody loves have that much love for you and stuff like that you think like maybe your family your friends love you and stuff like that 
and this is where it gets heavy you feel me this way you get heavy because she ended up being saying like um nah i don't i don't think so i don't think my family really loved me and stuff like that i think the only person that really loves me is my daughter because like she was like a sing she's like a single mother so she was like the only th th person i think that really loved me is like my daughter and stuff like that and it made me like think to myself like dang wait so you don't think that your family loves you and stuff like that and she was explaining to me like like no i don't i don't be thinking that or feeling that way and she pretty much like explained how sometimes like with her and our family like they just go through a lot of issues pretty much fighting and stuff like that like they had like physical altercations and stuff like that pretty much explained to me that like their family dynamics like pretty much toxic and she was just explaining how she felt like it was pretty much like a generational thing where like her mother was like toxic to her so now her mother is pretty much being like you know doing the same thing to her pretty much not being as a as of what a mother should be you know it's kind of it's kind of weird how and she was just explaining me how she wanted to try to like break that that trend with her and her daughter as well and um again it was just like pretty heavy because she was explaining how sometimes like she had that one moment in her life where she just wanted to like leave and she even left but you know it ended up being like where her her family pretty much were trying to like convince her to come back and where she eventually like came back I forget it was like if it like you know it's just that sometimes when like family you like you might have like some traumatic experiences where you think that a parent like should be there for you and they're really not like it's, it's just one of those things like where she was explaining like how she had like one traumatic experience and pretty much her mother wasn't there for her, like as she should be as a mother you know it, you, you get what i'm saying it's like heavy it's heavy stuff and it low-key made me think about one of the situation where i was talking to like um my closest friend man like she my like one of my closest friends that i know for a very long time she's like a heavy christian all right she was because it was like one of this i think in january it was like january like she's like a heavy christian like she's all happy and gold lucky like she'd be doing like charity work uh, uh and all that stuff like giving up to the, giving to the needy all that good stuff and she was like i went to like talk to her like one time because like she was just telling telling me like cause she was like posting stuff on like her snapchat story and stuff like that how she pretty much going back to the motherland and stuff like that like to like um nigeria or africa i think it was either nigeria or Af i mean it's like the same thing right <laughs> it's the same thing but I, I, i'm trying to be more specific i think she went like nigeria though um but pretty much she was saying how she went to nigeria and she was explaining to me how how that situation pretty much made her closer to her family just because um i think the way she was explaining how in like in the daytime they pretty much don't be having electricity on and only on at nighttime where they like kind of have like a generator to like pretty much uh, give us like give them like electricity for like a couple of hours so during that daytime they pretty much have to or not have to but it gives you an opportunity to like spend time with your family you know hang out be outside you know touch grass per se uh or like you know again like spend time with your family so you end up being like very very close to your family and sh that's what she pretty much was like explaining and stuff like that and i was just saying how like good for her and stuff like that because again she like she always like helped me out and stuff like that because she always like be that 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 positive energy like she's always so positive you know she it was some moments like when i've known her for like um I've been known her for like like seven to eight years probably. There's some moments where I, I'll be down and stuff like that, and she would just be like, "Yo, I know you're down, but everything's gonna be okay." And just have me like praying in the like, middle of the night. Like that's how that's how serious it was like, because she would be there for me, like have me just praying. You feel me? And it was like one moment where we, we was talking about like her and her um her family dynamic and stuff like that, how good it is and stuff like that, and she was asking me about like yo so how how is your family like how is your family and stuff like that and i was just saying like uh i'm like i don't know like you know because <laughs> like with me i really don't be like talking to my fi my family as often as i should and it's just like specific and i was just telling like for like specific reason because you know sometimes in family sometimes you have that like that toxic dynamic where you just want to just get away from your family so you can improve onto yourself you know mentally and stuff like that and she was just telling me how I should always, you know, 
try my best to like get along with my family you know work everything out that you have and issues and again like i would just talk to like yo that sounds good but it doesn't always work like that because there's some moments where you just like it's just that those moments where sometimes when you with family and stuff like that like you under their roof and stuff like that where sometimes they like to be at, like is they like they think that because you under their roof that they can do say whatever and stuff like that and sometimes when you get the moment of where you can be pretty much be free of yourself from that toxic environment pretty much you just it's like the best thing in your world right you want to probably not want to talk to them as often as you should see them as often as you should just because you escape from that toxic situations and that was like me personally because you know you have moments where you just be like oh my god i just can't wait till i leave i can't wait till i just leave and then you get that opportunity to leave and then it's just so quiet life is just so quiet you don't have to worry about anything uh you make it sure that you're good it's just quietness you know and that's why i was just pretty much explaining that obviously it's never good to always hold these grudges with your family and stuff like that and maybe and again i do talk to my family as, as often as i should like it's not like crazy like every day because she was saying like every day i'm like uh, it's whenever i could you know like it's like whenever i could or get a chance to you know like it maybe some holidays and stuff like that you see how they doing but she was talking about every day i'm like mm, i don't know but it's just that just that some moments you just gotta you just gotta free yourself from it all right you gotta make sure that you are good because i always try to tell like i told my friend this um the, the single mother i told my friend this i said yo the only person you can look out for is yourself and your mental health because that's why i always try to like with my friends like i don't know if they be thinking i'd be joking or trolling or something when i be saying this to like my in, in real life friends or actually some people i even speak to um in grand cross you feel me like my like the content craze i'd be like asking them like yo how's your mental health all right i'd be like how's your day because what i've always been told is that like when you tell somebody like how's your day you might make their day right then and there because you're pretty much trying to like care for that other person so i'm just trying to make sure like yo you know that somebody know that i care for you you know that i want to make sure that you know that i know that you are fine you are good and you are in a positive mood that's all i try to think of you know because i've had moments where i had like a bad day and stuff like that and i just felt so good because someone has just asked me like yo how's your day or how how's it going are you feeling all right are you good and it just made me feel good knowing that that person cared for me you know because i ain't gonna lie like i mean i don't know man i be having those moments with my friends like i remember i told like I, it's just that with me i'm just an open person like i always try to treat people with respect as they should like i always like some people be thinking i'll be like oh weird and stuff like, like that like yo why are you friends with that person why are you friends with this person i just like yo they ain't never do nothing to me okay i am cool i am good like some people will, like i remember like back in friday i think like maybe uh, uh not school maybe like after school people looking at me crazy like yo yo why you don't like i'll be talking like maybe one of my trans friends and stuff like that they be like yo who is that this sound like i'm like a guy in front. i'm like i'm like yo it's a she and stuff like that i'm like you feel me like <laughs> like they, they be like yo they deep they voice they sound deep it's just like you know with me i be trying to be like all open i be trying to be like all friendly you know just be respectful and all that good stuff it be sometimes annoying but you know it be like that like i, I ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna i ain't gonna say this but <laughs> i ain't gonna lie i almost blocked one of my trans friends because I, I i was like yo like war for war this is what i because um because like sometimes with my friends i'd be like on and off with like talking to them and sometimes they be on and off with me talking to me and i'd be letting them you know because like let's be honest like i'm older now so everybody be busy sometimes people start family some people got like jobs some people got i don't know kids so i understand some people can't be busy and be on internet all the time and yo <laughs> because i had some one of my friends post i had some of my trans friends post i was like yo i was like hey, what did i say i said i said i know it's been a minute since i talked to you and stuff like that but i just wanted to check up on you and ask you how was your mental health and how was you doing and stuff like that and i swear i think she read my stuff 
gang, I can't lie. I think she ran my stuff. I was tight. I was like, ah, she gotta get blocked. I can't lie. I think she ran my stuff and ignored. I was like, ah, she gotta get blocked. She gotta get blocked. I can't lie. <laughs> No, no, that stuff was crazy. You know, I mean, like, you know, I I ain't block it, though. But, you know, I was like, maybe she was just busy. She did say, because she do be saying how she don't be on, like, some sort of, uh, some social media s sites like that. I was like, uh, maybe she was probably busy, you know, didn't respond back. Because she be doing me dirty. I ain't gonna lie. She do be doing me dirty. She's a gamer. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. She is a gamer. Like, I be telling her, I be asking her, like, yo, what you doing and stuff like that. She be like, yo, I'm playing Overwatch and stuff. I be like, uh-huh. And then it be responding mad late and stuff like that. Sometimes she be like, yo, I'll call you back. And then never call back. Yo, she be treating me like a, like I'm on her roster. I'm like, dang. I'm like, dang. I ain't gonna lie. I, I gotta stop talking to her. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta stop talking to her. Or trying to talk to her. You know, if she want to talk to me every once in a while, I'll be like, yo, and stuff like that. It's all good, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to get this out. I had to get that out because I just thought about that. I was like, yo, I just told her how how, how, how her day was. I asked her how di her day was, how it was a mental health, and she read my stuff. I'm like, dang. But um, <laughs> something like something like to put into the story because I know it get a little bit sad, but pretty much, you know, Again, yeah, man, like you always gotta try to make sure you protect, protect your guys, you know, mental health, you know. Again, sometimes we have like issues with your family members and stuff like that, or have like toxic, toxic situations. Sometimes it's always good to like address that. Obviously, if you have like problems and stuff, and sometimes it do work, but again, like it's like something with like older people, you know, with older people is that where they always feel like they gotta be right. Have you ever had that parent? Or, or or guardian you know who always feel like what they think of is always right and it's somehow sometimes it's hard to like get through to that person until it's too late you know and that's why i be trying to say like sometimes you gotta make sure you're you're in a good environment to pretty much talk it out with your 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 family member that you feel like you're probably like, toxic or something like that because you don't want to have that moment where it's too late you have that regret that you never had that conversation with them because it could be that one moment where you think to yourself like yo it's either you it's either you live with the regrets of not being able to talk to them or you just let it all out because you never want to hold in all that emotions you know you don't want to hold it all in and then you want to be all like spiteful and stuff like that especially when the moments like when they pass you know it's always good to like tie tie up loose ends that's what i feel like sometimes it's always good to tie up loose ends again you might have that moment where maybe yeah right now you don't feel like you can have that conversation with that with your parents and stuff like that but maybe later on in life before it's too late you have that conversation where you might address some of the things that you had issues with in your life like maybe some toxic situations some traumatic situations and stuff like that it's just that you gotta be on like equal footing you know that's why i be feeling like sometimes when you like under somebody else's roof it feel like you're not on equal footing so it's just hard to address that person because they can end up just being like yo just get out my house no no i ain't gonna take this no more just get out my house those are the moments I'm talking about. You feel me? Like, we have those toxic situations. And, um, again, like, just protect your mental health, man. That's that's the only thing I got to say, man. Sometimes, because there's some moments where, man, sometimes sometimes your your family just don't be getting it sometimes. Like, I remember I had, like, one moment in my life, like, where I had, like, my stepsister, right? She'd be like, yo, I'm depressed and all that stuff. And, my, and then her, I think her, her dad would just be like, how, how are you depressed you don't you're not even paying no bills like you know those moments like that you just gotta think to yourself like yo what can you do to protect yourself because the only person you got in your life is yourself at the end of the day you know so always try to make sure you protect your mental health that's the only thing i gotta say you know if possible if possible of course again because some people be in a situation where it's not possible and then they just feel like they want to give up but sometimes in life you gotta try to see the good end you know sometimes you gotta see the light in that dark tunnel and i don't know again I, I don't know what to say man it's just content just content to say again sometimes i'll be feeling this way but um hopefully you guys enjoy this video i don't know if i'm gonna have like some crazy background some gameplay in the background that you probably think to yourself really why didn't i get like real gameplay but um hopefully you guys enjoy this really guys i'm out peace